Yeah, it's Blender with another banger. In this video, we're talking about Bloodhound Q50 and Vert, who are at odds against each other. After they were once allies, this trust has grown and allegations of backdoor emerge. We also noticed that Vert changed his name from Bloodhound Vert back to Rail Vert, which is what he used to rap under before he became really popular rapping alongside Q50 and Lil Jeff when he was alongside the Bloodhounds. <laughs> We can see that Vert announced an album last week. He had the title called It's Just Me after the rumor started circulating. And you can notice his name is Bloodhound Vert. But if you pay attention, he no longer has that album cover on his social media. Vert released a song titled Christmas yesterday alongside Q50 who unleashed his first day out anthem and the views don't even compare. If we take a closer look and analyze the social media of the Bloodhound OGs, Derm and Swerve, or Jermaine and Jeremy Bates, we can take a look that they are only promoting Q50 and they are not supporting Vert's new drop. If we watch the music video for First Day Out, we can see Swerve or Jermaine Bates picking up Q50 from the county and then Q50 reveals some interesting lyrics. Let's take a listen. Go, young turn they can't wipe no bitch, but I spend a little money, she slamming shit. Hand nails, that type of shit. If the low's right, she might get rich. If he stands too hard, he might get blitzed. You probably can't tell if this bitch got Go, young turn they can't wipe no bitch, but I spend a little money, she slamming shit. If we look at the post three days ago by Vert, he says I'm trying to get my life together, leave these hoes alone, and we just heard Q50 rapping about using a thotty to line somebody up and giving them the right amount of money if the low is right. Q50 was involved with a notorious thotty from Chicago named Juliana, and we can see that Vert liked one of her recent photos, and Q50 was most likely depending on her to give up some information because we can see that Q50 went off on Instagram saying don't let the internet fool y'all I'm not cuffing or wifing these groupie fan O's gang itches main look good for the internet I treat these O's like the flow on my fallen grandmother don't attach my name to ish and look good to y'all I don't address that I let hoes be delusional. Q50 is not backing down in the war against Trap City, even though Vert admitted in a leaked phone call that he still has love for Trap City and their members. Q50 and the Bloodhounds are dedicated to an all out war against Trap City to avenge Z Money and Lil Jeff. I Trap Rob is also swinging back in this war. He is not staying silent. He's also jumping in the ring and ready to go to battle. Let's take a listen. They ain't told you I ain't not like dude. Who done sent you off? Who done got you killed flipping my block? Who that? It don't matter. He got five, five, five with that one. Look at his pussy where it came from Kalahari. I'm not a dreadhead nigga, I'm a rock of And I'm not a nigga of Martian.
we just heard I Trap Rob unleash a barrage of bars, declaring that he's ready for battle. He said, he's jumping out the cut, I got an extra clip, which is in reference, when he came out the cut to defend Glendale Wagner, when Lil Jeff was chasing him inside his home. Rob also sent shots at Q50, saying, they talk about sliding, I just watch him slip, which is in reference to Q50, slipping, when he was trying to help Lil Jeff on the drill. Oh, oh my I was like, better start acting accordingly, folks, because this is a go big. These my little cousins, before they slow down, don't know better, folks. They, <laughs> they be tweaking with me, folks. So, yeah, we'll make sure they won't tweak with y'all last. Y'all yeah, better wake up, boy. Oh, uh, it's too late. All right. Hey, you niggas is big, folks. They ain't got no money, man. They ain't got no money, they ain't got no life. They on this bitch watching us. Broke ass niggas on my Yeah, yeah, fuck these niggas. Be they talk like Yeah, they cry I'm just not looking at the I mean, Don't even keep responding. <laughs> right While Chicago and Drill fans unite to support Q50 as a new face of the Bloodhounds and the next rising star out of Chicago, Vert is feeling the pressure, saying, Stop believing everything y'all see on the internet. But one thing for sure is that Vert is not being promoted by the OGs of the Bloodhounds. And we can see that he's no longer following Q50. JB Bin Laden, one of the other Bloodhound OGs, is also backing Q50 and not supporting Vert. I have seen some people express doubt that Q50 and Vert are at odds, but one thing I will gently ask you to pay attention to is that Vert will no longer be going live outside on the block with bloodhounds or along the 79th and Maryland territory anytime soon. I was also able to geolocate one of the locations that Vert was posting from when he was outside of a men's warehouse. I found out where he was, but I will not be revealing the location, but I can confirm that he is no longer in the area with the bloodhounds. Alright, let me know down below if you think that Q50 and Vert are going to be able to hash it out and become friends again, or if it's too late and the lines have been drawn and this war will not stop until one side declares victory. Alright, that was another banger from Blender Bars. Click the screen for another video. Nobody bigger than a chat. I'm out until next time.